Okay guys, the first setting and options would be the video settings, of course. The graphics should be on fast. Um, I actually find like no difference between fast and fancy. So I recommend you get the extra bit of FPS by putting it fast. Smooth lighting, I put at maximum. It just looks... It just makes your game look much better. If you put it off, you can see it's... Eh. Like kind of ugly when you look at the like edges. It's like very plain. There's not enough shadows, kind of thing. You know what I mean? And if I put it a maximum, there's like a bit of darkish color between them, and it looks just makes your game look much more like better, I guess. Yeah. And then GI scale, I put it to normal because uh, I don't want it too big. Or small, put on normal. But right now, I'll put it on large to let people see the settings better, I guess. Brightness, I put it on full brightness because it, I don't know, it just makes it look brighter. Like, I look at that corner over there, and if I put it on, well, not smooth lighting, brightness, it's like a bit dark there. But I do recommend you keep it around 60 to right. Dynamic lights, this one, it's like when you hold a torch, there's like a bloom effect around it. Which you don't really need if you're PvPing in Minecraft. So keep that off. Shaders, just, just don't put that on, it'll decrease your FPS a lot. Details, okay. You put clouds on off because it just doesn't look good. Trees, you put on fancy so that you can look and like see through them like that you can see through them pretty clearly like you can see the the background of it I put it on fancy because you know high pixel skyros player some people just hide on trees and some if you don't put it on fancy you can't really see them so they'll be hiding in here or something and you can't really see that they'll be just hiding there then um, sky, you turn that on, it just, it's just, it's just, you should keep that on. Sun and moon depends on if you have, like, a texture pack or not. If you have it, if you have, like, uh, texture packs for the sky, you should keep it on. Fog, just turn that off. Um, it's just not good. Translucent blocks, I just put it on default. Drop items, I just put it default. Vignette, I put it to fancy, so that's, like, this black outer edge around the screen just makes the game look better it doesn't decrease much fps at all so i just put it on fancy swamp colors is like when the grass it just blends in with the biome which makes the grass look much more nicer i guess it's just not all the same type of grass and cloud you just keep that off since i don't even have clouds on rain and snow just keep that on default stars you should keep that on depends on if you have the texture pack for skies again capes you should just put it on fog um don't really need to mess around with this because if you have it off you don't need this handheld item tool tips is like when you hover over your item it will say name for it like collectability strike click there 
Then Entity Shadows, you can keep that on so you have that shadow looking thing under my feet. You can see that under. And Alternate Blocks, just keep that on. Smooth Biomes. It just makes your game look better again. It won't decrease your FPS much. Animations are all on except for Void Particles, Rain Splash and Portal Particles. And View Bobbing, you should turn that off but if you want it on it's fine it just makes your game and like your screen wobble a bit which is not really that good for bridging if you're like a really good breezy bridger or god bridger you should keep that off which i keep it off and use vbios it depends on your specs um sometimes you get better performance with vbios on sometimes you get better performance with vbios off you should just experiment around with this Alternate blocks, I just keep that off. Um, dynamic FOV, I turn that off. Because, um, I don't know why. Just makes my FOV a bit, like, a bit too much. I don't really like a large amount of FOV. So just keep it off and PvP like this. And let's move on to quality. Minimap levels turn that off. And so trophic filtering, I usually keep that off because it will make your game very laggy. Clear water, um, this one is per personal preference, I, I like it off. Better grass, I don't see much of a difference, so I keep that off. Custom fonts, like the chat or like the, the intro screen or whatever in your game, it will have a more better font. Connected textures, you, you should put that fast. Custom sky, this one also, if you have a texture pack, you should keep that on. Custom entity models, you should keep that on. Um, immersive textures, keep that on if you have texture packs and stuff. These both, like these three requires texture packs. If not, you should keep them off. Minimap type, you should put that to nearest so there's not much lag. Anti-aliasing. You should just keep that off, that will decrease your FPS by quite a bit. Random Entities, it um, depends on your texture pack also. Better Snow, I don't really see much of a difference, so I just keep it off. Custom Colors, I keep that on for textures, so it will look better. Natural Texture, I keep that off. Custom Items is also another one that um, depends on your texture pack, so I keep it on. Custom GUI, also another texture pack dependent on, so I keep it on since I have a texture pack. In performance, I put smooth FPS off, fast render on, chunk updates on, render regions on, smart animations on, smooth road off, fast math on, dynamic updates on, lazy chunk loading on. This just increases your FPS. Um, lago, okay, um, we're gonna go to others, this section, other settings. Lago meter turn that off. Show FPS turn that off since I already have Luna client. You can see the FPS on the bottom right. Weather turn that off. It just depends on the server. The server will decide the weather. Um, full screen. Who doesn't keep that on? If you put it off, you should keep it on. It just makes it ten times better. Three and a glyph. Uh, turn that off. Screenshot size doesn't really matter. Debug profiler, I keep keep that off, so it just gives me that a bit more FPS. Advanced tool tips, um, keep this on if you're like a, a programmer for Minecraft or something, then you should keep it on. Time, just put on default. It, um, the server will decide. Full screen mode, just put at your native resolution of your monitor. Auto save, put at 24 minutes. Don't put it too low. Show GL errors, keep that on. And yeah, that's about the settings that will give you the most FPS and have a good quality gameplay. So your game will look pretty good and you have a lot of FPS. Like I'm getting 300, 400 right now, 490, 500. I'm getting quite a lot of FPS since I'm in, in the lobby right now. And my game still looks very nice for recordings 
or just regular gameplay. And yeah, that's about it. See you all in the next video. Bye.